Hi Real Women of Philadelphia and ladies across Canada, Marisa Raponi signing in from Toronto and I'm so happy to be doing this for the third week of Entrees and tonight is a rainy day in Toronto so I'd like to make something comforting, quick and easy because we all have to dash out of the house and those of you who are coming home from work, this was, is a real fast one. I'm making cheesy enchiladas today. So what I have here is some small different uh, tortillas and they're wheat you can buy corn if you like I have two cups of shredded cheddar I have two cups of plain chicken and this was uh, when I debone my chicken I use it in soup to make broth and this is what clings to the bone so I debone everything and I've got plain steamed chicken and so I use it for different things and this is one of the things I'm going to use it for tonight. Oh, there goes my cats. Always when mommy's busy. I have herb and garlic, Philadelphia cream cheese, and I have some enchilada sauce. This is really spicy. So for my family, I'm just going to use a few tablespoons. But if you can, you can have a whole can if you'd like. And depending on how many you're making, you can add uh, even more and double and triple the recipe. So that's about three to four tablespoons of enchilada sauce. I've got my own homemade tomato sauce that you can just buy any plain marinara sauce that you like. That's just spaghetti sauce without any vegetables in it. I have big pieces of basil in it. And I'm just gonna mix that together. This is so easy. You just take one of the tortillas, these are soft ones, dip it in the sauce. This is messy, but we're right here so it won't go anywhere. Add my layer of chicken in, a few dollops of Philly herb and cheese. I'm going to clean my fingers as we go and I'm just going to wrap up. Oh, I forgot to put some sauce on the bottom. This is just for uh, extra sauce and so it doesn't stick. Tiny bit there. Move it around. I'm going to pour more on, on top so it really doesn't matter how much you put on the bottom. And I'm just going to add the cheddar and roll it up, seam side down so that they stay closed and I'm going to continue dipping it nice and gooey so that when it cooks it has nice moist texture to it. It's nice and soft. I'm going to dollop again. However much you like of the Philly cheese. I'm putting two to three teaspoons inside each one. And my hands have been washed before I start. A cook's hands are always clean in the kitchen because they're always in the kitchen. And I'm going to roll that up. And I'm just going to keep going. I'll do one more for you and then we'll come back when they're all done. And however many people you're serving, you can adjust the amounts, either more chicken, you can do this with beef, you can do this with ground pork. I just happen to have chicken and this is one of the things that I do with leftovers. It's easy, it's fast, it's nutritious, nobody knows their leftovers and they don't even they're not even really leftovers. I make them extra so that I can utilize them in other recipes. And I'm just going to keep going until this fills up and I'll see you back soon. Look how quick this was. I am almost done. If you had a bigger party, you could do more. And these are nice, small, fun size so that if people like more, they can have doubles or triples. And if you have children, and this is, um, this is just about the right size for a child, or they can be cut in half if they're too big for children. So my last one, I'm going to squeeze it into that bowl because I want to make sure we get enough gooey gooey goodness for everyone. And I'm just going to put a little bit more sauce here so that I have some to pour on top. And look how quick and easy this is. Come home from a tired day of working. You can easily prepare these. They certainly don't need to be done ahead of time. Put more sauce on top and you will have a beautiful entree. You can pair this up with anything else. Different types of vegetables, 
you want more protein, you can do more meat. But that was about two cups of chicken, half a package of urban garlic, and be inventive. You can try different types of Philly cream cheese. And if your family doesn't like flavors, you can do the original or the light. I'm just going to top it up with the rest of the cheddar cheese. And that was two cups of cheddar cheese. And we have our cheesy Philly enchiladas. Look how fabulous this looks. Yum, yum. The family will fight over these. I'm just going to pop them in the oven. And this is all cooked. So it really just needs to be warmed through. I'd like to see a little bit of a crust on top. 15, 20 minutes tops. And these will be great for lunch as well. So I'll see you back soon. Wow, look at this. Golden, crunchy, orange, the red tomatoes, the enchilada sauce. I've just sprinkled on some parsley, but if you'd like cilantro, you can go right ahead and put some cilantro on. And I'm just going to take one off of what would be the serving size. This looks just like cannelloni. Oh, wet on the bottom and just crispy and crunchy on the top. I'm just going to serve it on top of some greens with a nice green salad. Actually, I'm going to open it up so you can see all the filling. Can you see that cheese oozing out on a cold, dreary day? I hope have fun because food will always pick you up, especially if it has Philadelphia cream cheese in it. Have a great day, ladies. Bye.